All right, just hear me out. If God didn't want me to stick a 50 BMG into a 12 gauge chamber, he wouldn't have made the diameters match. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today we're gonna be putting our own little unique twist on the often memed idea of sticking a 50 BMG cartridge into a 12 gauge shotgun. And of course, because it's my channel, I'm gonna be using an AK style 12 gauge shotgun. You know, extra style points. This is a JTS-12. This is a Chinese made clone of like a uh, Vepper or a Saiga style 12 gauge AK. And uh, yeah, today it's gonna meet God. As you can see, 50 BMG is marginally bigger than what this is supposed to shoot. So uh, well, let's see what happens. Now, of course, being 50 cal, it's a half inch projectile, which means uh, there's a good bit of wiggle room here in a uh, 12 gauge barrel. 50 BMG will fit in the chamber, but you're gonna lose a lot of energy in that loose barrel there. So uh, I think it's important to do a control test first, which is really just an excuse to shoot my Barrett. This is my Barrett. And these are my jugs. Being a man of science myself, I think these are gonna be a great way to show off the differences in energy between 50 BMG out of a 50 BMG and 50 BMG out of a shotgun. Also, I know some of you guys have crippling ADD and we haven't shot anything yet. Shooting fitties and touching titties in three, two, one. I don't think he's gonna make it. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that bullet still had a lot of energy left uh, when it passed through this jug. It's always a good day when you can shoot a 50. And I didn't get covered in milk this time. Fucking awesome. So now that we have a baseline for 50 BMG, we're gonna try the JTS-12 with just a regular round of double op buck 12 gauge. So we're comparing what happens when you shoot a 50 out of an actual 50 BMG, and now we're gonna show what happens when you shoot buckshot out of a 12 gauge, and then we're gonna see, probably my theory is both are way more powerful than shooting a 50 BMG out of a 12 gauge. But there's only one way to find out. Come on, baby, I just need you to function one more time. Probably spoke too soon about not getting covered in milk in three, two, one. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it did cycle either. Well, that's an interesting note to end this shotgun on. Well, we're not ending it yet. Yeah, it's okay. Another shower is not a bad thing, I suppose. Yeah, I got a little bit of splashback on that one, but as you can see, it was quite effective. This right here is the reason why Clint Smith says pistols put holes in people, rifles put holes through people, shotguns will remove a chunk of shit from your opponent and throw that chunk of shit on the floor. For more expertly produced backyard science, be sure to subscribe. Just hit the button, it's right, right down there. So now we're gonna get to the really sketchy shit, but first I just wanna thank SDI for making this possible. SDI, of course, is a great option for a lot of you guys that are super interested in the, uh, the gun stuff and possibly making it a career so that you too can get coomed on by milk jugs uh, shooting a 50 BMG. It's not everybody's preferred career choice, but it's turning out pretty well for me. God, this looks like a sketchy execution video. Anyhow, this is gonna get real fucking weird. So we've enlisted the help of a cheap shooting rest. Um, it'll get the job done. So we're gonna go ahead and shove this in the chamber, just solo, 12, uh, solo 50 BMG round. And uh, I'm gonna pull the trigger with a string because I'm not gonna be any fucking where near this thing. As my good buddy Scott says, exploding guns aren't good. So, pull this bad boy up. So we might have an issue with a light strike. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna give it a shot. So the uh, 50 BMG round is clipped over the extractor. It's a little loosey-goosey in that chamber because it is unsupported. We're just gonna close that nice and slow. And uh, yeah, we'll fucking see what happens. Where's the string? Uh, it's a little alarming that this isn't even close to the sketchiest thing we've done on this channel. Alrighty, so put that around here. We're off safe, we're good to go. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna fucking get back. <laughs> Three, two, one. God damn it. All right, let me try this again. See if this round goes off. Three, two, one. No shit. 
Science. So what's fucking crazy is coming up on this, there's just like this dark slushy uh, of milk from all the fucking unburnt powder is just littering the table. As you can see, you know, a decent, a good fucking bit of energy on the target, but uh, nowhere near just the amount of power of actual 50 BMG. So you see all this unburnt powder is just basically just wasted uh, potential muzzle energy that you didn't get. And uh, clearly our shotgun is still intact. Let's see uh, if that even tries to come out. Oh no. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna have to beat that out because it is now fire form to the chamber because there is no chamber supporting the cartridge. It's just gonna flare out and take the shape of its container. So that cartridge, that piece of brass is inside this gun and completely fucked. So we're gonna have to beat that out because I have, I have a theory of how to make this a little bit more interesting. But first, it's fucking nasty. Gotta get that out. All right, so let's try to get this unstuck. That actually started coming out a little bit. Yep. That was way easier than I thought it might be. Still smoking. There we go. So that is our deformed 50 BMG casing. This is now just a straight wall cartridge. So as you can see, the, the traditional taper on the uh, 50 BMG cartridge is now completely gone and it has taken more or less the shape of a 12 gauge bore. And it's kind of funny that it didn't even go evenly. You can see there's just a very obvious cant right there on the brass. You can see kind of really closely there, uh, there's there's cracks on the edge of the uh, the brass where it's just strained from being blown out. Blown out. So yeah, with a completely unsupported chamber, uh, the neck of this cartridge got fatter than that chick you used to have a crush on in high school. But you see, you lose so much energy because the casing is essentially in a way, uh, it's kind of like when it goes off when it's not supported by a chamber at all, like you throw it in a fire. What kind of asshole would do that? Sandaroo! Without a chamber and a barrel, uh, projectiles don't exactly work the same. The energy takes the path of least resistance, which is usually anywhere that's not pushing a giant fucking projectile down a tube. We were thinking about it and, uh, you know, what if we gave this a little bit of a better chance of keeping some of that energy? So, uh, we fired up the printer. For one, this should work well in just keeping this a little bit straighter, but we, uh, we have a little bit of a chamber support here as well as a 50 BMG diameter little guide here. So this is all going to get stuck down the barrel of this, uh, this shotgun and we're going to see what happens. Obviously we couldn't fully support it just because of the limitations with uh, the print and also being able to fit this into the chamber. But this should give it significantly more pressure and uh, honestly I just want to see this gun explode. I just realized there is so much unburnt powder literally just chilling here in the trunnion. I'm actually going to clean that out because that might, that, that, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to send it. You don't wanna be here for this part. <laughs> okay, so this is now fully chambered and I am holding a fucking frag grenade. Kinda of just, you know, gently put that here and fuck off. So by giving this just a touch more chamber support and really uh, actually reducing uh, the diameter of the bore to 50 caliber size, I know it's out of plastic, but I think this is gonna add significantly more pressure to the point where it may blow up, it may not. This is, ironically enough, reminding me a lot of AK-50 testing. Technically, does that make this like third AK-50 prototype? Hmm. Shooting 50 BMG out of, never mind. But yeah, 50 BMG is supposed to operate at about, what, 55,000 PSI pressure. You're not getting that out of a 12 gauge shotgun, but this is about as close as we can get. Because if you had actual 50 BMG pressure in a shotgun like this, it would absolutely grenade. So the reason why it's not is because it's letting all that pressure out. So we're now kind of eliminating a little bit of the way that that pressure can escape. So this might explode, it might not, who knows? Science. What did Adam Savage say? It's not fucking around if you're writing shit down. We're just using a video camera because I, uh, I'm illiterate. All righty. Three, two, wait for wind. Okay, three, two, one, go. Holy shit. It knocked the pistol grip loose. 
the shotgun has not seemed to have actually exploded. That's neat. Again, our brass is fire formed inside of the chamber. So we're gonna try to beat this out. There we go. Holy shit. The plastic survived. It's cracked as shit, but I didn't actually expect that to make it. Check that out. That flare at the end. So what's crazy is that little bit of 3D printed plastic actually helped us keep its shape a little bit. Of course, this is like literally flaking off. That's crazy. Look at how bowed that is. It's like it was wearing a fucking corset while it was fired. You could see the obvious bulge after where the plastic was. That is a wicked looking fucking casing. That's, that's crazy. But you can see here on the tip, <laughs> giggity, this here is completely straight, whereas this one that had the support of that plastic piece up front flared in, which is super bizarre. I was not exactly expecting that. So kind of to the surprise of everybody, uh, the gun actually looks fine. Either we didn't build up enough pressure uh, to get anywhere close to the actual power level of uh, 50 BMG, which I think is probably the most likely case. The alternative is whatever chinesium these uh, cast parts, like this cast bolt is made out of, refuses to fucking break. So, to my surprise, even with the enhanced 50 cal shotgun load, uh, the JTS-12 lives to fight another day. Ooh. I don't know, if you guys have any ideas of what to do with this thing next that, you know, maybe we'll push it a little harder than that. Uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Hmm. Yeah, it still doesn't cycle, but at least it didn't explode, so. Great success. Anyway guys, I hope you found this edutaining. Be sure to subscribe for more stuff like this. I'm gonna go on back to the shop and continue not working on the AK-50. So as always, I will see you sexy YouTube mother lovers in the next video. What is up, you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at that old saying about guys trying to, what the fuck am I, that old saying? I'm trying to think like urban legend. Like, uh, what is up you sexy YouTube mother lovers? Today we're gonna to be putting our own little twist. Fuck this goddamn fucking wind.